Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about the fungicides which are registered in India for use in plant disease management. Fungicides are the chemicals which kill fungi. To manage diseases caused by fungi in the field, very often we use fungicides to get quick results. So fungicides are indispensable part of chemical management of plant diseases. Time to time, many fungicides which have been there in use in India have been dropped because of various toxic effects that they produce in the environment. Many new fungicide chemicals which have been discovered for management of plant diseases have also been included. Now currently we have a good number of fungicides registered in India. The list has been updated recently and we are going to talk about the list of fungicides which are registered for use in India. So this list basically represents the updated list of fungicides registered in India as on March 1, 2021. This list has been prepared from a list of registered products of all plant protection chemicals which is available in the website of Directorate of Plant Protection, Quarantine and Storage. So if you want to have the complete list of agrochemicals which are registered for use in India, you can visit the website and get the full list. Now from that complete list, I try to get the fungicides which are there. Now we have here 68 fungicides registered. Out of these, there are many antibiotics as well, like the first one, oreofungin, is one antibiotic. Then we have one validamycin, which is also one antibiotic, antifungal antibiotic. These two antibiotics are registered for use in India for management of plant diseases caused by fungi. This list also can be divided into two categories. Some have been in use for very long time. For example, lime sulfur, mencojeb, carbendazim. Then we have copper compounds, copper hydroxide, copper oxychloride, copper sulfate. Then we have carboxin and oxycarboxin. These two are the first systemic fungicides discovered in 1960s. Now we have these fungicides registered for use in India. Now in this list we also have some fungicides which have contact action and some others which have systemic action. And also we have some recent developments in terms of fungicide chemistry where fungicides are locally systemic. They are neither contact nor fully systemic. They are locally systemic. Now these fungicides can also be categorized into more groups in terms of new chemicals, in terms of old chemicals. Chemically, these fungicides can also be grouped into several classes. In some other lectures, more discussions will be held based on each fungicide that we have here today. It is not necessary that the fungicides which are registered in one country should be there in use in other countries. So the fungicides that we are seeing here, these are for use in India. Now this list can also be updated by including more fungicides in future or it can be updated by excluding some fungicides from here. Now when fungicides are in use, especially the systemic fungicides 
fungi they develop resistance against the fungicides and the fungicide doesn't work so a combination of different fungicides can also be there as a product in the market to overcome the resistance problem of a specific fungicide especially systemic fungicides usually systemic fungicides have single site inhibition and contact fungicides have multiple site inhibition in the target fungus in the target plant pathogenic fungus now these are all single chemicals which have been listed one by one but in the market as a product we may find a number of combinations products like combination of mancozeb and carbendazim combination of azoxystrobin and some other contact fungicides so or systemic fungicides to in in order to enhance the fungicidal effectiveness a combination products are also there in the market so finally we can say that these are the 68 fungicides contact and systemic all together new and old fungicides and antibiotics so all these are now there for use in india so this is the list that i wanted to share to you so we have oreofungin azoxystrobin benalaxyl benalaxyl m bitartanol boscalid captan carbendazim carboxin chlorothalonil copper hydroxide copper oxychloride copper sulfate cuprous oxide ciproconazole diphenoconazole dimethomorph dinocap dodein edifenfos epoxiconazole famoxadone phenamidone fluopyram flucilazole fluxa pyroxide fosetyl aluminum hexaconazole iprobenfos iprodione iprovalicarb isoprothiolene casugamycin this is also one antibiotic cresoxim methyl lime sulfur mancozeb mandipropamid meptyl dinocap metalaxyl metalaxyl m methyl bromide which is one fumigant metiram myclobutanil oxathapiprolin oxycarboxin paclobutrazole penconazole pencicurone penflufen picoxystrobin prochlorage propamocarb propiconazole propineb pyraclostrobin sulfur this sulfur in the form of dust is applied mainly to manage powdery mildew diseases sulfur dust is also an acaricide then tebuconazole tetraconazole thiofluzamide thiophanate methyl thiram triadimethone tricyclazole trifloxystrobin triflumizole validamycin zineb and xyram so these are the fungicides that we have in india the latest list of fungicides for use in india now these can be categorized into different groups based on the site of action based on the mechanism of action based on the mode of action contact or systemic based on uh, old generation fungicide new generation fungicides based on chemical nature all these can be categorized so in some subsequent lectures we will see how fungicides are classified okay now from this list what you can do we can see there are many systemic fungicides like carboxin oxycarboxin and these are the names which i have already read in the previous slide so these are some systemic fungicides commonly uh, encountered systemic fungicides we have more in the list but we can always uh, increase the list here then out of the 68 fungicides we have many uh, contact fungicides 
the captain, copper compounds, yeah, dino cap, rhodine, lime sulfur and so on. So these contact fungicides are also very good. Fungi find difficult to overcome the resistance of these fungicides. So this is the thing that I wanted to share today. So that is the end of the lecture. Thank you so much.